I uh, got introduced to Krishna consciousness through books. I hadn't ever met devotees, but I got a Back to Godhead magazine in which I saw an advertisement for more of Prabhupada's books, including the Sri Shapanishad, which said that God was a person. So I wanted to look into that as soon as possible. I went to Shambhala Books on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley, California. I asked for every title that was there by Bhaktivedanta Swami. I read them multiple times, and then I joined the temple. And when I joined the temple, I thought that the guru would be there, and I would just surrender and become a disciple. And they told me, he's not here. He's in India. And, you know, he comes here infrequently, but he's in his books. And that resonated with me, and it always has. And the first time I met Prabhupada in San Francisco, and I was introduced along with several others as uh, a, a, among, being among a team that distributes books, Prabhupada looked at all of us and said, you must also read my books. They're not just for selling. That left an impression on me because we had a strong work ethic, especially in the early days, for staying out all day long and selling books. And I, I took that to heart. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare.